Coogan Cassius here with George Groves, uh, ringside, Frampton versus Quigg. Seen Frampton win a uh, split decision against Scott Quigg. What did you make of it, George? Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm over the moon for a stable mate, Carl, Carl Frampton. I've watched him train really hard for this. And um, this is obviously his first major, 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 huge fight. It's something that, you know, uh, I can't comprehend. And um, I'm just chuffed for him, I'm chuffed for Shane, I'm chuffed for the whole team. Um, they've done really well. Did you believe the fight was close? Did you believe that was a sort of should have been a split or? If um, I never like a split decision, you know, you want, you want, you want everyone wants to see the fight the same way. Um, I thought Frampton won. I thought he racked up so many rounds early on. Quick wasn't doing enough. Um, even the rounds where there wasn't a lot going on, Frampton was you know, dictating the pace, landing the odd few shots. Um, <clears throat> it was a phase near the end where. Um, you know, Quick was coming on strong, and Frampton was just lingering in the pocket a bit. But I think if Frampton just came back strong in the last round, showed, you know, he, I think he hurt Quick a few times, and um, I certainly make him a winner. By the, by the 116, 112 margin, that's kind of sort of how I scored it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, unified champ now. Uh, would you like to see him against Rigondeau? Uh, no. No. Because, um, you know. <coughs> I want to see him like fucking have, have, have another fight like like that. You know, Rigondeaux though, he's, he's a class act. I'm sure if anyone in the division could beat him, Cole can. But it's, it's, a, it's a fight that doesn't interest me. I, you know, he's his own man. I've got to be honest. I don't know that many people down at that weight. I have to do some revision. You know, um, but he can dominate. I think. I, anyway. um, I know you just recently fought at the uh, back end of uh, January, but have we got any news about a potential fight date for you? Rumours of April the 9th for potential? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, Callum mentioned it. Um, yeah, I'd love to be part of that huge show in London at the O2. Um, fits in well with my schedule. So uh, we'll see if we, if we can get it done. Um, if not, there's plenty of dates out there for me. The same night, um, there's, there's, there's an opening for me in Vegas on the, the Bradley card if I want to fight out there in Vegas. Wouldn't mind a trip back there, you know, any excuse. If not, it's Callum and I've always got a show out in... Um, in, uh, in Germany, or we put something together ourselves over here. So plenty of options, but um, I enjoyed myself the other night headlining on Sky back in London. It'd be nice to, you know, obviously won't be headlining, but back in a, a big sold out show in London and back on Sky. I heard from someone that you and uh, James Segal locked eyes and had a moment together earlier on. Is that true? Well, a moment <laughs> like slow motion. No, I, don't, um, oh, I saw him. I said, hey, wait, I said uh, I did, we said hello, but. Um, I think you'll be scratching around for opponents soon. Um, no doubt I'll be that man. So yeah. I can't walk anywhere without someone, without someone eyeballing me. I've got Cole Frost one side, Callum Swift that side, the gal this side. I'm going to creep out with my mate, Carl Frampton. He's fucking dangerous. All right, George, thanks for talking to IFL TV and uh, we'll await news on your next fight and a date for you, hopefully. I'm sure you'll know before me. So uh, nice one, Coogan. All the best, mate. Cheers, George. Thank you.